But we'll get these out of the way. And if I can remember correctly, you gotta pull these things off. These aluminum clips gotta come off. These metal, uh, these aluminum clips hold the side panel on. So that was an improvement that uh, Skidoo made over the years. So, there's one. Slut in a long time. Let's see, we got. I'm gonna get my eyes on. It's like a T30. T30. Yep, T30. stuff up good. Okay, so now we gotta pull the seat off. Looks like we got uh, two 13 millimeter. Okay, so now we got the pyramidal frame that runs down. So it looks like we gotta take these two bolts out on each side. Then we gotta pull all this stuff off because I need to remove this to get to the upper uh, bolt and nut that's underneath here. It's got a nut on them. They're all rusted. Okay, so we gotta break those two uh, bolts with the nut on the back and they're rusted. So I just put I just put some croil on them. So we'll let them sit a few minutes and then we'll get after them. Maybe. 
You gotta pull the nut off for the disc. Let's see. Maybe these oil filter pliers. like we got to pull these two on each side so we can get the windshield out of the way so this slides back 10 millimeter of course spinning in the housing looks like I'm gonna have to get some pliers I got it. Whew, I lucked out on that one. There's one side. some screws up here looks like uh, T15 maybe yep we got two screws T15s by looks like one inch. Now will this lift off? Oh yeah, look at that. I'm gonna remove this piece. Okay. How's this come off? The center piece. Just sets with uh, four little tabs that sit straight down, so you just pop that out. And it looks like this whole thing will come out. What do we got going on here? Uh, so I think I'm just going to tip that up like that. Got the choke cable. I got Okay, so you got a little tiny pin that you got to push out. Right, so I just got to poke that that spring pin out. Now we have to uh, get this, and I got a inch and three sixteenths. It sits a little loose on it, but all it is is plastic. So. Got a little button. This is like a little rubber button that goes over this, like a weather seal. Let me lose, remove that. Now this should come right out. There. 
All right, so now that we got this, here's your vent. I don't want to lose this washer, so I'll put this back on. I'm going to put this back on too so I don't drop anything in the gas tank. Those might be, uh, those nuts must be fastened right to the tunnel. I held on to them anyway so they didn't break off. Okay, so we removed these four T40. And now we got to get to the four bolts. Looks like they are maybe 13s. Let's see. Is this a 13? There it is. 13 it is. So I'm going to need a 13 uh, box end wrench and a 13. Okay, so we got a 13 inch nut on the back side and a 13 bolt. thumb over that so it doesn't get lost. Oh, that's a flange nut. So there's one, three more. We had to get these off anyways because I got to replace these straps. And I have to remember that the strap goes right here faces that, not this way or that way. So I got to drill these rivets out, put four brand new straps on. <laughs> that disappears for a What do you think, Riley? You're not talking? All right. So now we'll get this off. Gas cap. Get this pyramidal frame out of the way. Remember, this goes over. Let's see what we got here. All right. I noticed on these rail, on these uh, pyramidal frame, it's got a pin that it sits on, so you got to kind of lift up on it, and then it'll come off. Do the same thing. See that pin? So that sits on a pin. Same thing on this side. Get this whole thing out of there. Look at that. This whole thing started the revolution. So I think I might want to drop these feet down for the lift. So the sled tips back, so all the fuel runs to the back there, so I can unhook the fuel line. Yeah, it's just, the, the pyramidal frame held this, so this is going to lift right off. So I'm going to drop these feet down. Lift up on this a little bit. Now, we'll tip that back. There. So now all the fuel is going to run to the back of the tank. Very much in here. I think I drained a lot of it. It says, it says it's on E, but you know how those gas gauges used to be. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so here's the fuel line. I'll unhook that. Then we got a fuel clip. Okay, so now we gotta get that fuel line off. Almost went. <laughs> oh, there, I got it. 
let's see. Oh, something's under there. What is it? What is it? What do we got? What's holding it up? Oh, it's got the vent tube. There we gotta unhook this vent tube. What if I just pull it off right here? Zip tie holding the tail light wire. I'll leave that zip tie in there so <clears throat> remind me. Finally, finally, give this a good cleaning and then we'll see where we got to drill. I can put this back up in the air now. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We'll get the belt off first. I got a brand new belt I'm putting on it, so. seen some better days okay so I was looking over this belt the one that was on it and you can see from here to here there's a flat spot on both sides so this belt's junk luckily I bought a new one but uh, so we'll ditch this one in the trash and when we go to reinstall everything, we will put a brand new one on. That needs to be adjusted because the belt was sitting way down inside the secondary, so the deflection needs to be adjusted. I know that. Once we put the new belt on, we'll adjust it. slide out okay so in here you have three pieces three plastic pieces for this so we can remove the secondary and we got three of them got one here one here one here so right there there's a button you got to push in you push that in and then it allow that to slide so we gotta get something to push that. See, you push that in right there, and that should slide up. Oh. There we go. There we go. Make sure that none of the spacers, see how you got all these stack of spacers for your alignment. Make sure they're not stuck to the back of the clutch when you take that off. We'll go through all that and clean it. Same with this one. All right, so we gotta, we'll get that uh, vent hose off and then we gotta get to these two clamps so we can get that air box off. Okay, so now we just got to get that vent tube. See if we can get to this with this pick without damaging the hose. Run that around there and get it loose. There. There's that. I should take the 
this air box off. There we go. There. Look at that, huh? Let me just get a couple rags in there. I gotta look at these boots yet. See how those are. Oh yeah, they're all dry rotted. If you look at these, this is what you're gonna wanna look for. See how that's all dry rotted? Let's see if I can get you in there a little better. See all that? That's all dry rotted. That's known to go on uh, sleds that are older. You get all that heat into that rubber. So I'll have to pull the carbs and uh, replace these. I'll have to look this over good, see how all the lines are. The hoses are still pliable, so they're still squishy. Usually when they get start getting hard, if you can't squeeze them, I'd replace them because they'll crack. I'm going to put these drags in the carbs so nothing goes in them while I clean up the rest of this. Pull this clutch out of the way. It'll go. I don't know if this got enough ass. Oh yeah! Oh She let loose. I don't think it's ever been off there. I don't think it's ever been off there. Get her all cleaned up and I'll pull it apart and go through it. Make sure the, <clears throat> the slides are still good. These little clutches work good. They're pretty much bulletproof. All right, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to, I want to pull the, the whole exhaust out, so we got to get these springs off. ones. Tough springs. There it goes. Down in the abyss. Oh, I didn't lose that one. Will I be able to find it? Will I be able to find it? There it is. I got it. Okay, so what are we looking at? All right, there's another one down there. What else we got? They're just one or two. Oh, there's two. That'll release this from the muffler. There's one. I got the other one on the other side. That one's going to be a fun one. Lucky I got this thing. 
and this goes. Oh, I can see that one though. It's right there. I can see that one. this right out of here and now we'll be able to see all the steering make sure everything's all good check it all out okay so now what do we got we got one spring there one spring there holy smokes there's a lot of springs it's gonna be fun putting these all back on One more, one more. We're just gonna let that one sit there. Now we should be able to lift this muffler out. This big tank. Oh, look at that. Look at that big sucker. Beautiful. Now I'll be able to clean all this. I'm going to check this out too. It's got some foam in there that fell off. Get all this all cleaned up. Look at all these flowers. Four leaf clovers. Alright, so I'm going to give this a nice cleaning. And then I'll bring you guys back.